Hello then, folks. Welcome back to Magpies Millions, where, um, I don't know what I'm doing there. It's good to see you there. I hope I find you very, very well. Let's get involved. And you know what today is. It's the second leg against Real Madrid. And since facing Madrid and losing to Arsenal, things have gone bloody awful. Yeah, yeah, terribly. Really, like, we're out of the FA Cup. I've lost to Sheffield United. I've beat Burnley, but we all beat Burnley. Yeah, I lost to Everton in two of the most mind-numbingly boring games ever. Thank goodness we didn't do that as an episode. Uh, Sheffield United, 3-2 defeat as well, where, um, yeah, just went to part. 3-0 down after 34 minutes. I did everything to try and pull it back and still couldn't. And then the one they're winning is Burnley, which um, they missed a penalty on the 84th minute. Shout out to Onana. So it could, could be worse. Nathan Acker got sent off. It was pretty bad. And now we go away to the Bernabeu. So that's going to be great. Real Madrid, I mean, what a time to be alive, viewers. Are you confident? Yeah, me too. Big time. Uh, Team-wise for this one then, Zlatan isn't registered. It's looking stupider by the day as uh, Odrio Zola is suspended for this one against his former club. A little bit annoying. And team-wise, I've got options that I'm considering and I'm, I'm, I don't think I'm going to play this. As much as I keep looking at it and wondering... Matty Longstaff's going to start. He just works incredibly hard. And him, him and Van der Beek have a really good partnership, really good connection in the centre. So that's what we're going to go with. is going to be up front. Havertz is going to play in behind him with Maxim in one side, Chiesa the other, Grimaldo Lozano, either side of Ake and Ruben Diaz with Onana in goal. And um, we need to do something. We need to win, viewers. We don't need to win, but it'd be nice. It's Real Madrid. So here we go then. Barcelona and Juventus drew their first game as well. As, of course, away goals here. Could be everything. Who knew that Toby Bull would be on the bench against Real Madrid? If he has to come on, what a moment for him. I mean, we're probably going to lose, but what a moment. All right, then you can see the, the Real Madrid side there. Malin's in there. Bale's in there. Dybala up front. They're a good side, viewers. That back four... They're a good side. They're a good side. Mauri is that Lazaro's in the team here and hasn't played football for ages. And now it's to go up against Malin as, uh, well, I've, I've gone, viewers. <clears throat> I do a lot of talking at the moment. I think that's probably, it's probably having a little impact on my throat. But here we go then. The games are underway as uh, the first thing we get to see. As I think the Newcastle fans are in the corner over there, absolutely loving it. It's a Real Madrid chance. These are a bit quick, a tiny bit quick. Just drop that down just a touch, viewers. I don't know if Real Madrid are playing at a certain speed. I think they're just playing very quickly because that's not really slowed it down at all. As Malin's on it now, we just want to try and stop Madrid for as long as possible and find opportunities to break with the likes of St. Maximin, with the likes of Chiesa, with Lotaro Martinez. That's the goal here. As the ball forward is he's flicking all over the place, viewers. No one's really got control here. It's a very, very quick start to the game. As that challenge goes in, they're still coming forward here. Celebos, good challenge. Malin's in, though, and that's a disaster viewers we're three minutes in that is a disaster Malin scores and um yeah that chance from Ruben Diaz is not that good when you look at it Celebalos goes forward Malin drives forward as well and then Anana's positioning there I don't think it's great but it's a really good finish and the gameplay there was very very fast and it, it unnerved me viewers now the reality is still needs to score because they had an away goal anyway so not much has changed here is it brave to go attacking at the Bernabeu. Is it, viewers? Well, watch me. Watch me. Put on a cape and fly. Because all everyone flies like that, don't they, Ben? We've got a free kick, I think, on the edge of the box. We do indeed. It's going to be Grimaldo. He's pretty good at them. So maybe he can beat Courtois from here. He goes for goal. And, well, Courtois fumbles and then boots it away. A little bit panicked. You can see there, Courtois... Um, it's a floating ball, viewers. So, you know, make your own minds up. What's going on there? Is it a mystery? Is it a magic trick? Who knows? It's a paused replay. I don't know why they get rid of the goal. The goal, to me, feels like an important bit there. It could not... It might not even be going in the goal. Another chance. The problem is here, we're in the Champions League against a very good side. And with that in mind, even if we get through here... We're not going to play someone worse than Real Madrid. We're going to play someone who's already got through the next round. Um, they might be. I mean, they might be worse. You never know, do you? Because someone could have come against Newcastle. So, in fairness, some of the sides will be weaker. As a great chuckle from Lazaro, you wouldn't know that he wasn't particularly fit for this one. As uh, we're looking pretty good, though, again. Passing the ball around neatly. Keeping it. This is important. Again, trying to frustrate Real Madrid by kicking it, the ball straight back to them. Run the bakes on it now, though. Into Grimaldo, who's got an option in front of him. And now here's Set Maximin. And he plays the ball forward to Lotario Martinez, which is very, very good. He races on a goal, viewers. Oh, he scored! Courtois can keep it out! Lotario Martinez! It's an own goal by Courtois. It's not, is it? It's just not. That seems harsh to me, viewers. Very, very harsh. But there we go. A goal has been scored. And Lotario Martinez. How is that an own goal? That's the most... I mean, he's not going to get the goal. That's infuriating. It's 1-1. We have the away goal. I've gone attacking. I've gone brave. 
and we've already got one. Can we get two, though? The, the, the audacity of us to play attacking away at Real Madrid as Chiesa knocks it back to Lozano, gets it back, bursts it on goal. Will he find a finish? He shoots, and Courtois has to parry it over. Already got an own goal, Courtois, so he's having a shocker. He hasn't. He'll be more annoyed than anyone. He hasn't. So, Maximin, though, ball played in. We're there. We're not quite under it, though, as the ball is cleared away, and, uh, yeah, nothing comes from it. So, at half-time, viewers, goodness me. <laughs> No, no, no. It's Real Madrid. It's Malin. Shoot wide. Shoot wide. It's been blocked. Oh, viewers. I'm worried, viewers. Tabala on it. They're not done yet, are they? Back up to the left-hand side. Oh, it's Carvajal racing forward. It's, they're still racing forward. He's still got it. Please tackle him. Malin inside. I've called half-time, though. This can't have happened. I said it was going to be... I said at half-time. I was ready. I was ready to talk about the plan for the next... Oh, it's ruined my plans. They're right, viewers. When you score before half-time, it's ruined all the plans. I said if we give him this much space as well. I mean, how does it... Oh, for goodness. We're not even looking at the bloody ball as it goes into... It's 2-1. Well, extra time and penalties can no longer happen because if we get a second away goal, it'll be everything. Show me something else in the second half. They're fired up. I'll say no more. And we need something from Lotaro Martinez, who frustratingly is on a 6.5. Had he been given the goal viewers maybe on a seven and absolutely flying i think kies is going to come off here leon bailey is on the bench for a reason he was bought for a reason is he about to prove to me that the reason was correct gareth bell having a poor game out there but you look at their bench they've got vinicius jr isco jovic they're they're okay i think they'll be all right as the time though seems to be ticking away here we're staying on attacking 20 minutes to go and a corner here we go so maximin to play it in i'll be under it towards leon bailey and a counter-attack as Matty Longstaff has decided to disgrace himself in front of the whole world and get himself sent off. I'm not happy about it, but Jordan Henderson comes in as uh, we'll carry on playing attacking. Matty Longstaff sent off. He'll be, he'll be crying all the way back to the dressing room, I'm sure. Problem is now, we just need to score late. Five minutes to go. I mean, what would you do here, viewers? Mariano, maybe just play three at the back in some fashion. I can't really. Let's let's push the wing-backs further up. Let's just try that. Let's, this is... This is probably as bold as we can go. Martinez has advanced forward, pushing further on, not pressing quite so much. And is there going to be some late drama, viewer? Uh, viewer? Viewer. The one viewer that's still with us. Is there going to be some... Uh, let me know. Four minutes to go. And maybe, just maybe, of course, we only need one goal. As I can hear seagulls outside going absolutely ballistic, viewers. There's Anana's clearance. Not his best work. It's Jovic now. And a goal seals it for Real Madrid. And they know that. They're sort of pressing and pushing for it. The shot goes in. It's wide. Three minutes left. It's not looking good. The time ebbs away, viewers. There's a minute remaining here in the Champions League knockout stage. First knockout stage after the group. Of course, we don't even go into the Europa. I mean, the league, the way it is this season... What do we do with it, viewers? What do, what do you want me to do? I don't know. As they're in again, Malin to seal it. Oh, no, no, a bit of a big save. 30 seconds to go. He was offside, actually. So the question is, with these 20 seconds, is there to be one final moment of pure elation, of pure joy? And we need to go for this, boys. Not passing it backwards quite so much. The ball out wide is appalling as they're forward again, sort of. They're, they're bringing it forward. The time looks to be up, viewers, as Carvajal beats Bailey to the challenge. And I think gallantly... Despite the 10 men, we're knocked out of the Champions League to Real Madrid, which I thought was a sentence I would be saying. But the way in which it's happened, the sending off to Longstaff, those like those final 15 minutes, you just never know. Oh, the, the goal before half-time, that might be the problem. When we got the goal back, we maybe didn't need to be quite so attacking still. But again, that second goal would have been everything. That the, the, the uphill struggle for Madrid from then would have been huge. That Dybala goal would have mattered far less because they'd have needed another one. <sighs> Disappointed, but not surprised. You gave it your best shot, boys. You know, you gave it everything. Real Madrid beat us. Barcelona go through as well. We've got as far as Juventus. I mean, that's something, isn't it? Chiesa's out for a few days and we get £8 million. Um, it's a shame. Longstaff is banned as well. Of course he is. Look, we're not done today. We've got another game coming up for you, thankfully. This, the, the, the pain doesn't end there as we play Chelsea in a few days' time. It's who, are really, who are first. So, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. What a day this could have been. Nathan Ake suspended. It gets worse, viewers. The worst thing is my third best defender is Jordan Henderson. Really. Of course, the goal with this save, and maybe it's important to keep sort of sight of that. I want to win the Premier League. I want Newcastle United to win the Premier League because they've never done it. And I think it'd be beautiful if I could bring that to them. And I, yeah, sure, money's been spent and the takeover has been... Let's, let's talk. Uh, we'll just say that, Newcastle fans. The Georgia Nation, I worry for you. Look, the goal is to win the league. It doesn't look like we're going to do it this year as, wow, what an intake. This really is quite something, viewers. This really is quite something. I mean, what happened? How much money have I pumped into the facilities? 
Right, improve them again. Improve everything. Improve everything, viewers. Improve the youth facilities again. More. No, it's important. More. Thank you. Get them in there. Training facilities. They've got to be better. They've got no. They've got to be. They've got to. That's very important. They've got to be. They we're going to be left behind by rivals. There we go. Right. They've done all that now. I mean, that's costing another, another ten million. The worry is the money is running out, viewers. Um. What if they don't give me money next season? What if they just decide you've what you keep wasting it? That is a fear. I'm not going to lie. That is a bit of a fear. I am spending an outrageous amount of. I want to be sick, viewers. Shall I just go be sick? Nathan Ake is already suspended. He's now out with a fractured lower leg. So that's great news, isn't it? Suspended, injured, and on a yellow card. So it's a disaster. His season's over. I mean, Jamal Lascelles is going to play there, not Jordan. But um, yeah, this is uh, this is a, this is well, this is bad. We play Chelsea in a couple of days. The whole team are falling apart, viewers. Panic stations. Kai Havertz has come in and done. Basically nothing all season. Let's be let's be real. Latari Martinez is wanted by Chelsea, Tottenham, and Madrid. He also doesn't want to sign a new contract, so he's off in the summer. Oh yeah, it's real. It's a party environment, viewers. It really is. It's a disaster, is what it is. It's an this is an unmitigated disaster. I've I've managed to come into Newcastle United, spend six hundred and fifty million pounds, and still be in utter crisis. So, yep. Yeah. If I beat Chelsea, if, like I've got Chelsea. If I beat them, what's the point? What is it for? Do you know what I mean? Because we, we're trying to stay in Europe. Is that the goal? I'd rather not be in Europe, you know? I'd rather not be in Europe and I'd go for the title. Just clean, clean run at it. Leicester did it. Remember when Liverpool did it? Like, there's a chance here. We can maybe go for it. And I think that should be the goal. And now Bulls uh, on international duty. All right, team-wise then, Anana in goal, Audrey Zola, Ruben Diaz, Lascelles, Grimaldo, Van der Beek and Longstaff still in the middle again. Did I play Henderson in there? We'll get Henderson in there because Longstaff disgraced himself. Uh, Luis Alberto behind Otto Martinez, Bailey. I'm actually going to change Bailey to an inside forward on attack and him and Maximin hopefully will have a big impact. Grimaldo's struggling a little bit. Do I bring in Russell on? No, we gamble, viewers. We gamble. He's going to be exhausted. Absolutely exhausted. I should have put the other one on the bench. Didn't even do that. So they're playing a 4-3-3 system. Sancho plays for them. Boadu plays for them as well. Decent player on this game, actually. As uh, largely, the, the Chelsea team, very, very similar. Taglafico uh, is in there as well as Everton. So, yeah, the rest of them, familiar. I, mean, I, I know all the players, but Chelsea players. No Mason Mount. No Tammy Abraham. Lampard must have gone. Must have gone. Has he gone? Because they're top of the league. It's Mancini in. So there you are. The youth project at Chelsea. Overviewers. Maybe they've had some bad intakes. I know what that's like. All right. So they're top of the table, viewers. Um, we're seventh, you know, we're comfortably seventh as well. Everton are loads of points behind as uh, Latari Martin is here. Now deciding that we're all going to decide now we're out of Europe, we're good again, maybe. That's what's happened, viewers. I mean, St. James's Park is getting, is getting redone. I mean, that's exciting, isn't it? Is that, is that done at the end of the season? I've forgotten now. Uh, it's going to be completed. Yes, August. It's going to be completed. Beautiful scene to say. Uh, Luis Alberto's corners flung in there. Flung in. Wasn't flung, was it? Bailey's shot. As it's always a calamity back there. Goodness me, Kepper. What's he doing? Maximin scored. As I'm trying to see if St. James's Park is completed in the in the January, the July, or the or the August. As that goal has uh, has given us a one 0 lead at home to Chelsea. Well, they're trying to win the league here. We could throw the, throw it all into distribute for them. As that shot goes in, it's deflected. It throws Kepper off, and there's Maximin to poke home. Goodness gracious me. If you would you ever oh they're on their forward here Onana's kick to Bailey very very well it was good and then Bailey decided oh I don't know and then it's gone so never mind Chelsea now just waiting for their moment you know like, like a coiled spring ready to oh spring obviously oh, they're forward Tagliafico on that side back to Everton they're looking a little bit dangerous here Kante and Onana does well and then clears the ball very, very quickly to Bailey, who this time is in far more space. He finds the run of Lotaro Martinez, who beats his man with ease, viewers. Lotaro Martinez is 2-0. I can't believe he's going to leave me. Look, there's a late chance of maybe getting into the Champions League. You see, though, we've overtaken Arsenal and Tottenham based on the current live league table. So you never know. If Liverpool, whoever else, fall away, there's a little bit of time left this season for that to happen. Lotaro Martinez, what a burst of pace and what a finish. Lovely 2-0 up. Things were eight points behind Liverpool. We've played a game more. We need them to absolutely collapse for this to happen. But we're so we're so far ahead of Everton. So we're like almost guaranteed to be in Europe next season. Problem is our goal difference is not good either. <laughs> As uh, We're on the ball though. Can we make it three before half-time? 33 minutes gone. So far, it's been a festival of football viewers. Leon Bailey taking his time. Leon. Chelsea again. Forward though. Sancho right side. Back to Tomori who's up in an advanced position. Sancho gets it back. Those two working together quite well on that side. Just playing one twos. Not really caring about anyone else on the pitch at the moment. As the ball swung in, it's headed over. Luis Alberto. Ball in. Back post. The cells. Heads over. 
Half time then, actual half time. Two nil to the good, and Chelsea are not really doing anything. It's a bit weird. I don't know how I feel. I don't feel comfortable. I usually the default position as a Newcastle United manager is to be struggling fru furiously. So this is a bit weird. Audrey Zola, ball played in again, cleared away this time. Henderson knocks it down to Van der Beek, and it's whether we can keep the ball moving over the top. Maximin's in. Can he keep it in? He can. Lazaro, Lazaro. Oh Ben, you can't get it. It doesn't count anyway. That's the worst thing. You say the name wrong, you still don't get the goal. Maximin was. Miles off. Dramaldo struggling. It would really help now if we had a left winger. Uh, oh, sorry, left back on the bench. I noticed that actually the bench is full of Ibrahimovic, Chiesa, Mariano, Havertz, Delefeu. Not that defensive, viewers. He'll be fine. Don't you worry. We've got loads of time between games now. Not in the, not in the you know, Champions League, are we? As uh, they're on that left side. As <laughs> no, I'm worried. Everton, don't give a penalty away. That's all I want. We give so many away, it feels like. As Sancho's there. As if Sancho scored a header. All right, now there's 20 minutes to go, and I am on edge, viewers. Chelsea on the ball again here. They've, they've finally decided that they're going to start trying, which is really not good for me, as Kante there nearly scores a screamer. What would you do here, viewers? Would you go more defensive? Would you play for the point? Would you just stay balanced and, you know, hope for the best? Would you get Leon Bailey off? Um, I'm not doing anything. So that's, that's going well, isn't it? Kovacic, ball out towards Everton now, and Chelsea. Look, my face is starting to sort of scrunch up a little bit because of the scared, the scared nature of what's going on. They're forward again. This is just not going to go well, is it? This is a matter of time before they score. Or we counter. Uh, tackle goes in. Forward. I mean, maybe. Maybe. Ball forward to Lutaro Martinez. Maybe. Viewers. Maybe. Lutaro Martinez. He's going forward. Cuts inside. Shoots on goal. Doesn't score. That's quite excitable, wasn't it? I mean, do you, do you shut the doors now, Ben? 20 minutes to go, or 10 minutes to go, sorry. Do I shut the doors? We'll go more cautious. We'll play, We'll try and play a little safer. Leon Bailey's going to come off for Delefeu. A little bit of pace injection on that side. As uh, Do I bring Matty Longstaff on again to disgrace himself? Probably not. I can't really put anyone at left back. They've had a shot there, and I've just I've not been a part of it, viewers. All right, time's ticking away. If we can just hold on, I'm going to demand a little bit more from the boys. They've got a corner, Chelsea. Played in. Mason Mount's on the pitch. This, this floating mouse is in the way. Kovacic. It's just a matter of time, isn't it? I feel like I've been waiting for a Chelsea goal for so long now that this is so inevitable, and I'm just and I'm still going to be annoyed when it happens, viewers. As we we do seem to press and counter quite well, as that ball's amazing. Shot goes in. It's not even fair. He's hit it so hard. It's a danger. The fans behind the goal are Chelsea fans, but they didn't realise what danger they were in. They're t it's two two. The worst bit about this is, viewers, and we're not watching it again. Absolutely not. We're back into seventh. So all that talk of oh, if Liverpool slip up, maybe we can do something special. The time's gone there. I've just sat, I've just talked about pain and anguish newcastle fans does it feel all a little bit too real here aggressively say i expect to see you all at training tomorrow they've let themselves down late they could have they could have done more should i've gone defensive would it have mattered that's the things we gotta ask ourselves was my bench selection particularly poor there's all these questions that i mean i'm not i'm not talking to the press because i don't know the answers for these questions what i try and do now viewers geordie nation i try and predict the comments before they happen so that when i see them i think well i did think that so it just makes it easier and I made changes. Made all sorts of changes. Where did that get me? Got me a draw. So, never make changes. That's the takeaway, viewers. If you enjoyed today's episode, please do drop a like on it. If you want to see some more, subscribe to the channel. This was a 5 o'clock upload. Slightly different. Uh, and we'll be back again probably on Sunday. So, I'll see you then. Uh, fans of Glory Hunter that I've got to this point and are annoyed that there's not a Glory Hunter. It's because things aren't going very nice at the moment. So, I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.